Drew Pine has announced he is headed to Arizona State for the 2023 college football season. We're back with some more transfer portal news. And yesterday, Drew Pine announced where he is headed for the 2023 season. He is headed to Arizona State and will be a Sun Devil next season. So today I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on this situation and what this means for Arizona State and Notre Dame moving forward. So that said, let's get into it. Drew Pine, the primary starting quarterback for Notre Dame in the 2022 season. And this 2022 season was the one main season to this point where he's been a primary starting quarterback. He was the backup in 2021. Uh, didn't get too many opportunities through 30 times for only 24 yards. Did get a couple of touchdowns, but once again, I mean, he's, he's primarily been on the bench before 2022. And so, yeah, I mean, 2022 was his first real opportunity to be a starting quarterback. And he played generally well. I mean, he put up 2,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, six interceptions, also rushed for 100 yards, even though he's more of a pro style quarterback. But yeah, overall, his stats were good this past season 22 to 6 touchdown interception ratio, a 65% completion rate. This is something to build on for Drew Pine. And the stat line for 2022 maybe wasn't great in comparison to some of your better quarterbacks but you got to consider too this was only his first season as a starting quarterback and you consider he's got three more years of eligibility remaining i mean his ceiling is very high going into next season and going into the future this is exactly what arizona state needed here you got a young quarterback a quarterback that showed potential in 2022 i think this is yeah this is huge for uh, for arizona state here being a team that's Obviously in a rebuild phase right now, Herm Edwards was just fired this past season. Things didn't work out with him. Kenny Dillingham, the new head coach. And this is a huge land for him and for this team. And uh, yeah, so I mean, if you look at Drew Pine this past season with the Irish, he was eight and two as the starter for them. Uh, Notre Dame wasn't the best season, not as good of a season as we've seen in years past. But I mean, he still was eight and two as a starter for the Irish. And I mean, as a first year quarterback playing for Notre Dame, I'd say that's pretty good. And so, I mean, if you look at Notre Dame's situation, the quarterback situation for them becomes much thinner. Tyler Bushner is currently the top quarterback in the room. We're going to talk more about Notre Dame in just a second and uh, who potentially could be the next quarterback for Notre Dame if they go to the transfer portal. But yeah, for Arizona State, once again, this is exactly what they needed going into next season. With a new head coach, Kenny Dillingham, things are, I mean, it's 2023 could be a another challenging season for Arizona State. I think that's uh, something that many Sun Devil fans and around the nation are thinking right now, and it's rightfully so. I mean, Arizona State, this team was not good in the 2022 season, one of the worst teams in the Pac-12 for sure. And so moving forward into 2023, I mean, this is, yeah, this is huge for Arizona State for sure, uh, bringing in a, a guy of talent and a guy that's got a high ceiling, uh, Andrew Pine. And if you look at Arizona State too, I mean, this team, they got some and they got some talent returning in the receiving core as well, which is obviously huge. You got Elijah Badger, most notably coming back, who uh, had nearly 900 yards on the season, seven touchdowns. Um, and the quarterback situation in general was kind of a mess for Arizona State this past season. I mean, you had Emory Jones, the Florida transfer quarterback, who really, I mean, he, when he played, he wasn't he wasn't great. I mean, 1,500 yards, seven touchdowns to four picks, nothing too impressive. Um, Borget was the other quarterback who passed for right around 1500 yards as well his touchdown and interception ratio was a bit better completion rate wasn't terrible as well so i mean he's a quarterback that shows some potential but he just was very he was inconsistent when he played so you know, adding drew pine to this quarterback situation and um and, may, and adding some depth as well which is much needed i think emory jones has has transferred out so uh, yeah, having drew pine in here is exactly once again what the sun devils needed and i think drew pine personally he is, yeah, I mean, this this definitely places him as the best quarterback in, in Arizona State's quarterback room now. I mean, if you look at how he played at Notre Dame, his potential, I'd be stunned if he wasn't the main starting quarterback for this team next season. He brings potential to this offense. He raises the ceiling for this football team. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this brings optimism to this program as well. That's exactly what Arizona State needs right now. I mean, going off, I mean, this team was 3-9 in 2022. Bad season for this team. But going into next season, there's some more optimism now that this team, you know, if they can get the offense together uh, under a first-year head coach, I think it's a possibility we see this team at least get to a bowl game next year uh, with this with this move. And once again, you got to consider the key receivers returning, their top tight end as well. So I think this is yeah, this is huge for Arizona State. But for Notre Dame, talking more about them and and what this means for them, the quarterback situation now becomes much thinner. Tyler Bushner, currently the top quarterback in the room now. Didn't play too much in the 2022 season, 
uh, but he's a quarterback that I mean he's got some experience now he's uh, he hasn't really he hasn't played full time but now that he's he's been in the room for a little while he's got some experience I wouldn't be surprised if he was the he was the starter going to next season and I mean if Notre Dame doesn't get another quarterback in the portal he is obviously going to be the starter going to next season but I honestly would be very surprised if Notre Dame didn't land a quarterback from the transfer portal at some point. I, I think Notre Dame is going to be going for quarterbacks, and the first name that kind of comes to mind would be Grayson McCall. He is the Coast Carolina, uh, former Coast Carolina quarterback, who actually had some good success um, with, uh, with, with Coastal Carolina. And so looking at him, he kind of fits this offense. I mean, he's put up nearly 3,000 yards in his past three seasons with Coastal Carolina. He's had a lot of success, does not turn over the ball. I mean, his, his touchdown interception ratio was 24 to two this past season. And he's only thrown eight interceptions as a full-time starting quarterback in the past three seasons, only eight. So I think he would be honestly probably the best case scenario for, for Notre Dame if you can land him. Uh, he is an excellent quarterback. He used to run the ball a lot more than he does now. He only ran for 200 yards in the in the 2022 season but i think he totally fits this offense and that's probably the quarterback that makes most sense for notre dame dj uyangale we all know him the clemson quarterback former clemson quarterback i mean he's clemson had trouble with him and um and having having a lot of national success with him being a big contender but he's still a great quarterback i mean he's he's still he's still a guy that's that's got some potential i think Leaving Clemson and finding a new start could be exactly what he needs right now, and I think he's also a good option. Uh, something, I mean, honestly, Mikel and Uyangale are the are the main two that I can see happening right now. But Kanan Slovis is kind of in the background. I don't think that's going to happen, but that's a possibility. You know, Kanan Slovis kind of being in the same area. Notre Dame is an independent, but Kanan Slovis coming from the ACC, it makes sense, um, and especially. It makes sense for this offense, even though he's a full-time pro style quarterback. He does not run the ball at all. So it's very interesting for Notre Dame now. We'll see what moves the Irish make. And but yeah, for Drew Pine and Arizona State, this is obviously a huge deal. But that said, let me know your thoughts and comments below on Drew Pine and Arizona State. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.